Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming. I'm Yunsik Cho from Jungwang University. And this is a joint work with uh, Minhan Oh from Seoul National University. So as the title implies, um, here we wanted to further study on collaborative filtering using variational autoencoder. So let me give you a quick introduction on collaborative filtering. So when building a recommender system, collaborative filtering is one of the most intuitive approach which is based on real simple idea. You recommend an item to a user based on other users who are similar to you. So with this idea, researchers have been proposing various approaches, one of which is the matrix factorization, which tries to project user and item and lower dimensional space. This kind of latent factor models still largely dominates the collaborative filtering research literature due to their simplicity and effectiveness. However, these models are inherently linear, which limits their modeling capacity. So recent model from the web conference 2018 proposed a model to overcome this issue by introducing nonlinearity thanks to the neural implementation. Our work is motivated by this work, applying neural network to the collaborative filtering, especially based on variational autoencoder. So we are kind of revisiting this paper just as the web conference is revisiting Beyond from 2018. So uh, before going directly, I'd like to give you a brief overview on variational autoencoder. VAE is based on autoencoder framework, which tries to optimize by reducing the error between the input and the reconstructed input from the output layer. And by doing so, we can obtain some meaningful lower dimensional representations, similar to matrix factorization when the activation function is linear. And VAE extend the AE by mapping the input variable to a multivariate latent distribution. And choosing the distribution of the code in VAE allows for a better unsupervised representation learning. The previous work, VAE for collaborative filtering, is the first work that has applied VAE for recommender system. The authors tested VAE on real-world data sets and achieved state-of-the-art results in 2018 and highlighted the strength of neural approaches comparing to the previous probabilistic approach, machine learning-based models. For the decoder, the researchers have found using multinomial or the softmax layer as better interpretation and better performance. It also introduced how to extend the elbow by introducing a, a parameter beta here, which controls the strength of regularization, which is also used across the following researchers in collaborative filtering. Another line of work that we were interested in was the mixture of expert or MOE for short. The multiple expert network are used to divide a problem space into homogeneous regions. This approach has been heavily used in computer vision or in multi-modeling, multi-modeling, multi-modal learning. And in this figure, uh, we can see how the gating network or the softmax layer applies uh, to the weighting on each expert networks. The output becomes the weighted sum of all the experts. And you can see uh, here the output. I actually took the figure from this paper. So motivated by the previous two lines of work, we propose a new framework based on VAECF. And instead of heavily um, relying on one latent approach or one expert, here we would like to extend the model by introducing the multi-expert approach where we use three experts as shown in the figure. And please note that the number three is just an arbitrary number for simplicity. We also want to highlight that instead of the mixture of expert soft gating, we propose a new approach called stochastic expert, where for each user in item interaction, the generative process samples the expert allowing higher flexibility. And as shown in the conceptual figure on the right, 
We believe the stochastic approach, expert approach better captures the multimodality of human behavior. Whereas VA is too simple and the mixture of distribution of MOE may not be able to ca uh, capture all the multiple node modes and aggregate it over multiple distribution via mixture. Hence, we can summarize the overall network structure in the left-hand side, where the encoder maps the input into multiple expert, mean, and var uh, variance in k-dimensional space. And for each selected uh, expert, we follow the same generative process from the conventional VAE. And as shown in the figure, we have one encoder that distributes to each expert, and each expert has its own decoder. We found that this is indeed effective than having separate encode, encoder for each. And on the right-hand side, we see the training procedure uh, for our proposed approach. We initialize, uh, we initialize all the parameter sets for the encoder and decoder, phi and theta. And until convergence, we perform back propagation by computing the gradient of the lower bound, which is uh, denoted in the red box. Here, the Q cat is the categorical distribution that reflects the probability of expert M being selected for user U. And we also see the vector WU here, I'm uh, sorry, WU here for user U, uh, which is fully factorized uh, Gaussian distribution, which is used in Gumbel softmax uh, input logics. So we move on uh, to the experiment sections now. First, we summarize our experimental setup. For the data set, we've used Movie Lens 20M and Netflix data, which is a most popular data set in this literature. So in the, in the Movie Lens 20M, we have uh, 136 uh, users, uh, thousands of users, and 20,000s of items. So on average, a user has clicked 73 items or watched 73 different movies. Netflix, we have 435,000 users and uh, 17,000 of items. And this data set on average, a user has clicked 122 items or have watched 122 movies. For the evaluation metrics, we use the recall at R and NDCG at R. Recall at R is the proportional of relevant or in this scenario clicked items predicted in the top R items. This reflects our real world, where we only focus on the top R items on the web page or on the app. However, recall at R does not differentiate the items which was predicted on the top or predicted on the bottom, as long as they are within the top R. So NDCGR overcomes this limitation which emphasizes the importance of higher ranking than the lower ones. Across our uh, multiple experiments, we use these uh, two metrics to evaluate our performance. Now, so the next natural question follows, uh, which is how well the stochastic expert perform when applied to VAECF? Here, uh, we applied three experts on VAECF and was able to verify that the stochastic expert approach is indeed effective. And we want to highlight that all the settings, hyperparameters are kept the same from VAECF. And we have chosen three experts for its of explanation. And finding the optimal number of experts and other settings is beyond the scope of this research. So now, we want to review how the benchmark models performed in this literature. Here, uh, CDAE, you can see here, CDAE uh, is one of the first neural approach in CF, which used the noising autoencoder. And multi-VAE is a model from VAECF, which was proposed in the RAP conference in 2018, and which is followed by adversarial VAE in each guy 2019. We then have ease which used shallow autoencoder for, uh, from the web conference in uh, 2019. We see VAE model has been used extensively here. Amortizing uh, ranking VAE from iClear 20, 2020, rec VAE from Wisdom 20, 
2020. And then we see the most recent state-of-the-art results from Rexis 2019. HVAMP is based on Vampire and has successfully applied the gating mechanism across multiple layers, uh, which was popular at the time of, um, in uh, computer vision. And these are the results from each model. Uh, we see achieving uh, higher uh, results became very challenging since 2018. And I also want to highlight that all the models use the same training, validation, and test sets. Hence, even the gap seems minimal, it is significant in the literature. We selected two VAE models from this table, one the VAECF and the other the most recent model, and wanted to verify whether applying stochastic expert on these model is effective. The table in the bottom compares the result from multi-VAE with and without stochastic expert and the result from HVAP gated with and without stochastic expert. We see that applying stochastic expert always wins the previous approaches. So um, we extend our ex experiment to answer the following questions. Number one, wasn't the performance gain merely due to the number of increased parameters? Number two, is stochastic expert really effective? How about compared to a mixture of expert? So as we have three experts in our ex experiment for the first experiment, we triple the number of parameters for the first experiment having K equal to 600. And this wasn't effective at all. Whereas stochastic expert always perform better than the baseline. We've also noticed that for the second experiment, there was no mixture of expert approach uh, on VAE. So we will build MOE for our own comparison. We see that MOE performs worse than the original approach, which was uh, quite surprising. Whereas our approach always outperforms the baseline. Hence, we can safely confirm that stochastic expert is effective in capturing multi-mode distribution and also achieves better predictions. So in this table, we added our best performing model, which is based on HVAMP with three experts selected stochastically. Our result is highlighted below and we observe our result is now a new state of the art. Here are conclusion for our ending remarks. First, we have proposed a new framework, which is named, which we named stochastic expert, where each expert is selected stochastically. Number two, we performed extensive set of experiments to verify the effectiveness of our approach, achieving state-of-the-art results. Number three, in this work, we uh, followed the same settings from previous approach and applied only three experts, and we leave the future work for finding optimal parameters of our own. And we also want to highlight that this approach can be universal and can be further extended to other fields. For the acknowledgement, I would like to thank uh, these two uh, institutes, IITP and NRF, both from South Korea. And I also want to thank the anonymous uh, reviewers for their valuable feedbacks. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Yunsik. Uh, great presentation. Um, any questions from the audience? Uh, I can I can start with one. Uh, Yunsik, uh, you mentioned you you, you didn't uh, optimize the number of experts. You used three for both data set. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder why is the, uh, why uh, what was the reason? Is that really hard to tune the number of expert or? Oh no, it wasn't really hard because it's uh, it uh, increases uh, linearly to the number of experts. But we mm -hmm. actually um, decided for simplicity for explanation, uh, three could be enough because mm -hmm. um, three could be easy to understand. And yeah. maybe we could um, do perform an extensive work uh, for the future work. So uh, we left it like that. Yeah, I'll be curious. You know, with two expert, you know, four expert. Uh, oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, yeah, whether there's are there more rooms to improve or not. Mm -hmm. That's one one thing. The other is I felt like the data set. Can you find more diverse data sets? You use movie data set. Okay? Mm -hmm. Movie essentially is one category. Oh um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. your expert doesn't play too much role there. Um, to oh, think yeah, of yeah. the model. But if you find the data set with multiple categories, um, uh, distinct type pattern, maybe the expert will play a more important role. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good input. Uh, we actually wanted to compare to the previous baselines and the previous baseline, they, uh, I don't know why they stick to the uh, movie lens and Netflix data set. So that was the most uh, um, biggest reason that we tried that data set for uh, fair comparison. But yeah, that's a valid point. We uh, we actually want to further uh, perform a, another set of experiments on uh, various kind of a data set. Okay, very exciting. Uh, Masahiro, uh, do you want to ask a question by yourself or you want me to read your questions? You can unmute. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you read? Okay, I can read it. I can, I'll read it for the other audience as well. Stochastic expert is effective for also linear model. Uh, for uh, matrix factorization, I guess, or is it based on nonlinear characteristic of the AE? Wow, this is a good question. I, I think uh, it might also be beneficial on matrix factorization, but I haven't actually performed any experiment on MF. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, it'll be really interesting to see whether uh, we can also uh, get some good results on MF as well. Uh, but from my side, I actually haven't had uh, any kind of experiment. But definitely for the future work, uh, we should look at it, take a look at it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, any other questions from the audience? If not, uh, then we can move to the second speaker. Thanks. Uh, thank you.